Haitian gang leader Jimmy Cherizier aka Barbecue is now calling for community dialogue, indicating it is the only option that can help stop violence in the Caribbean country. In a video shared with journalists on Tuesday, Barbecue, a former police officer, spoke in Haitian Creole as Kenyan police troops touched down in Port-au-Prince to begin leading the multinational security support mission endorsed by the United Nations. While it is unclear whether his was bait or genuine turnaround, Barbecue did say the new interim Prime Minister Gary Connell is a man he thinks could help end violence in Haiti using local solutions. The 400 Kenyan police officers are the first batch of about 1,000. They will be joined by troops from other countries, according to an initial plan which was delayed following the resignation of former transitional Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Barbecue initially opposed to the MSS had overseen some of his gang members withdraw from parts of Porto au Prince, according to reports in local Haitian media. But he didn't remove his threats on the mission yet, having declared the troops invaders. Now he says that the Prime Minister was better placed to lead the dialogue as he was popular amongst citizens in Haiti. Conil spoke to journalists on Tuesday after he welcomed the Kenyan contingent. He assured them of cooperation, seeing it as a basis to start the country's journey back to stability. In his explanation, the gang leader had said Conil was better placed compared to other leaders because no one had accused him of any wrongdoing especially giving firearms to the people. He said they were being driven by fear of competition with other businessmen intending to cause chaos. According to him, those who armed the society were the ones who were now busy pushing Conil to disarm the community. Barbecue said that he would be keenly watching the steps that the Prime Minister will be making in regard to ensuring that Haiti is peaceful. According to the gang leader if they realized that he was doing what was right then the gangs would stay out of his way and let him lead the Caribbean nation. He said that there was no prison any gang member would ever enter and that they were all out to see the rich die. However, Conil is yet to respond to the request made by Barbic and on Tuesday he was joyful for the arrival of Kenyan officers in Haiti. The Kenyan police had been flagged off by President William Ruto on Monday, Barbic, who is opposed to the deployment of the Kenyan officers to Haiti, had warned that were it to take place then it would be a massacre. According to him, he was sure that in the coming months the state would be peaceful, and life will be brought back to normalcy. In 2022, former Haiti Prime Minister Ariel Henry requested Kenya to assist him in restoring peace in his home country. Kenya then agreed to lead a UN-authorized international police force to Haiti. However, the Kenya High Court said that the deployment was unconstitutional. The case was to come up next month. The mission itself is set for review at the UN Security Council after nine months of approval elapsed this month. Its mandate ends in October unless extended by the UN Security Council.